Hello, Peter. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing today? Well, a bit of the music. We removed the titles. So welcome back to another interview. Together, we're talking in English. This is great because we have an English speaker. Uh, yes. Yes. With us. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. We, we, today... we, soon, yeah, but okay. <laughs> we go for Polish soon. Yeah. Today, yeah. just to change, to, change a bit, uh, to change a bit all the type of work we are bringing in, we're going to bring another architect. So, oh my God, this is, very, this is getting very complicated to bring other kind of people in. So, I just want to tell you something for the audience guests. It needs to be really outstanding because we already interviewed so many architects that we hear all the excuses about them. So, it needs to really be outstanding on this one, okay? <laughs> okay, let's, let's drill him and try to find some money. Uh, let's go, let's go. Okay, David, David Delgado. Okay. Good morning, David. Welcome to the Bean Cafe. Yeah. Good morning. Thank you for having me here, and it's it's a pleasure. I, I think that we'll enjoy next minutes. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we will, we will. Thank you very much for accepting us and for accepting us as we are. You know, I'm searching for money. I'm searching for the money in Beam, uh, which and everybody tells me that this is really just you know oh it's complex, it's complex. Even the guys who just try to do this, they saying it's difficult to find it. So you know. <laughs> Very I'm difficult. Not <laughs> We're going to try to lead today's conversation about the business model, how to make money with BIM and so on, because Pedro doesn't trust me that there is a lot of money to make with BIM on the construction industry, just basically by by making more more profit and, and uh, being more efficient on the, on the works. But well, we will, we will jump into that uh, very time soon. Just a quick presentation before. I just uh, simply put you here as an architect. We haven't talked further about how to discuss uh, your your name, but well, David Legado Vendel, architect, also being consultant and many other things we will we'll see it through. Thank you again for coming to the Bean Cafe. And we're going to start right now on the, on the process from the interview. So prepare here some slides as a, as a background for our conversation. We'll go forward and always the first thing we do, apart from show what we are gonna are gonna go through uh, some of the points is to introduce yourself i leave you always the floor to do that because who better than yourself knows uh, knows yourself right like i don't want to start to twist my tongue so please go over and <laughs> introduce yourself to, to us and to all the, all the audience yeah don't worry i i, I try to be uh fast so well uh, i'm david delgado vendrell uh, i'm an architect i was uh working as a designer um during 13, 14 years, and um, not overnight, but uh, progressively uh, changed uh, my professional path into uh, um, a consultant, uh, trying to help other companies within the same sector, the construction sector, um, into their own, let's say, now digital transformation path. It sounds uh, long, but in the end, it's what it is about. Uh, and this is what um, I'm doing with my company uh, for the last uh, seven, uh, eight years. Um, and at the same time, in parallel, uh, I am also collaborating with some educational uh, institutions, such as universities and so on, trying to help them also um, uh, to provide that uh, those seats for that digital transformation. Um, and I am also... Uh, part and collaborating with Building Smart International, um, especially with the Spanish uh, chapter, but also with uh, at an international level with different uh, working groups. I'm also part of the BIM Users Group of Catalonia because it's a region in which I am, uh, well, uh, living and also uh, I have mm, mm, the, let's say, closest uh, professional uh, circles are there. Uh, and I am also uh, the representative of Building Smart uh, Spain uh, within a, it's some kind of, a, well, a group or um, institution which has the aim uh, to um, define the roadmap of BIM uh, within the region of Catalonia in Spain. So, yeah, that's my uh, professional background. So, 
I hope very we nice. <laughs> just, that, that you, you really just uh, I think this is great because I think this is the profile which we which we are looking for as well just to understand a little bit better you know the the different speci the specificity of the different regions and countries so I think your experience is great because it's Spain that's also international so that's great and I saw your education also US so it's just uh, you know it's just you can cover the world with us so I think it's great. <laughs> we're not going to argue here about uh, is BIM needed this is transformation needed the answer is, is well, a clear yeah. yes we you already, want, but, already on uh, that. You know. no 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 we're not going to argue <laughs> about that uh, but, but there is uh, let's use them this uh, this conversation mm -hmm. within an hour or whatever it lasts to to give uh, to give uh, to give points to give, to give uh, reasons to 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 join more people to this information, right? Why we they the people who are listening to us, the people who are reticent to to join that, they will they will need to take and jump to into this train of of this transformation in the construction industry. Okay, so let's jump into the into the first topic. And first of all, uh, I prepare um, uh, something called uh, the BIM business model. This is uh, really Peter is going to be very excited about it because we're talking about BIM and business together. Uh, no, but the, the the real idea is to using the David experience um, from, uh, I call here, from a self-made being man to delivering these services. So David uh, was talking, uh, talking to me, saying that he learned being by himself, as many other people, because this came quite recently. So you start to look for their own resources in Russian videos or, or, or English, mainly all of them, and seeing some uh, tutorials online in, in random pages as how you start to, to make some modelings, of course, with, uh, with some modeling. So at the beginning, and slowly you start to understand what is the methodology, then you go forward and look for more resources, you translate those uh, those uh, those books or norms or, or or comments or documents or papers and so on is is like this how you form yourself so it's a self-made man and you get to the point that you are able to provide this as a service in your being business is your business model business, uh, sorry in your business model so how was this path to be able to from no experience to taking everything by yourself and until you are able to to do it as a business <clears throat> well uh I will try also to provide a, a brief of that, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, in, in the end, as, as I said in the beginning, I, I was working as a, let's say, a regular architect. Um, uh, because nowadays regular, I don't know what, what does it mean. But in my time, uh, most of the architects, uh, they had the, let's say, luck of working as architects designing some kind of stuff uh you know and making projects and some of them like my case i was uh, also in the site you know uh mm -hmm. and so on and i i i did that just i jumped that activity just when i finished the university i had that luck as well but i i, I had to to went through uh, as many other people in the world uh, through the economical crisis as well, and Spain was <laughs> quite deep. Um, so wh wh why I'm saying that? Because what I what I did in that transition, which is not overnight, as I said, it was something that I was already doing uh, without the beam stuff. You know, uh, exploring different you know uh, type of um, different types of clients different than, than the ones that i already had that i didn't want to have and this kind of stuff and blah 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 so reinventing this word right uh continuously so for me it was another step towards that continuous reinventing uh will uh and if uh, many of us we know that the construction sector is at the bottom of that uh, productivity ranking just before i think it's hunting and fishing uh you know <laughs> yeah, and I this is so, yeah. this is one of the best let's say uh, uh reasons to move uh, forward <laughs> you know and uh and i had always in mind that hunting and fishing was there uh pushing us you know <laughs> and well it's not a joke it's 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 what i felt during 13 14 years every time i went not just to the site because sometimes in the site, you could find uh, people with uh, eager then uh, with, in, inside some engineering and architectural firms. So I was even more confident uh, moving uh, through the site rather than uh, offices, honestly. But it was it was just my experience. And well, and I started this uh, by well, you said 
self-made man or something like this. Self -made. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds quite serious, uh, but um, yeah, it's something like that. Uh, because now I am trying to help others that are also doing something like that. But at the same time, they have the luck that nowadays they have programs, educational. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they, they have a lot of support towards the, uh, that jump. You know. And in my time, we didn't have that, uh, you know. So, yeah, I think that now they have to uh, to also to, to, to put the spot on that hunting and fishing stuff as well, because it's not enough. Uh, so, uh, well, I, I, I did all that uh, not uh, trying to help others in the beginning. I have, I have to be honest, I, had, I, I wanted to help my, my, my own company. Uh, you know, but suddenly I I I, I, I saw that well. Uh, if I am helping myself, I think that my problem is shared by many others that are suffering the same uh, issue, uh, illness, or whatever you want to, uh, to call it. So maybe I can. And honestly, in that time, I was not doing any in Spanish or Catalan. We say called door. Uh, uh, action like okay, uh, going to knock the door of companies. The companies were like appearing, not massively, of course, but it was quite natural, you know, how you are trying to help them because well, I have this need. Can you come here because I, I heard you in that uh, presentation, blah blah blah, and well, it was like that. Um, and uh, well, then you uh, realize that well, my company is another company. It has the same uh, random name such as my uh, acronym, you know, DDB. Uh, I didn't, uh, as you can see, invest uh, unfortunately uh, any money on branding. Um, this is this comes from the architectural era or period. Uh, you know, uh, well, uh, I, I am an architect. Um, uh, and and we started like this so yeah we can go deeply in some yeah, details if you want maybe so just when when you say so you started like this i think what was really the hardest part when you're when you're learning because you know i think you you create a company and it's great because you see it eight years of existing company this is you know it's, it's difficult but what was this hardest moment in your in your journey what was the things which you say oh my god beam is not worth to really you mean you, you mean the, the beam journey is in, in yeah, particular beam, yeah beam, well yeah. the beam, my, my beam journey started it's it, i have colleagues that are coming even from uh, uh you know uh ancient times in my case was 2013 and 14 which is well it's not uh so long ago but for me uh in that time was because in spain in particular uh, we still had, sometimes I think that we still have it, uh, you know, uh, the economical crisis impact. So when we say, as my case, I was following some YouTube videos and so on. Well, this is the, the soft uh, part. The hard part is when you realize that this is not a joke. This is uh, real because in my case, I try to apply it in uh, actual projects and so on. Uh, well, uh, should I invest on... For example, software licenses. Uh, should I invest on hiring people who uh, also has uh, have that uh, let's say uh, skills as well? Because I have some projects that uh, uh, I need to create a team. You know, okay. so this means investment and investing when around you there is uh, the smell of an economical crisis. This was the hardest. Uh, um, okay, so what, that was not really related to the to the technology itself, to the the idea, but really more in the economic no. economic environment. Honestly, honestly, not because well, uh, I think that most of the architects, even the ones that are not still on Beam, they are struggling with the digital technology, uh, especially in the last. Well, always technology is always there. Uh, you know, they have to go through different challenges. So for me, in, in particular, it was not a challenge. Maybe because, well, maybe there are different architects. If we are just talking about architects, right? Uh, different types of, you know, I, I remember when I was studying, uh, there were like two main categories. But nowadays, I don't know if, well, maybe, 
they are still exist but mostly wow uh, always trying to, to to exchange information in different ways then beam appears and it seems it seems that we have to, to start using these words information exchange no we were already doing it uh even during ancient times they were doing it the, the, so so okay i i understand it and we just i i really like the the hunters and and all of the guys just which are productivity below the the, the construction i like the comparison but when you look at this you know when you look at the doctors when you look at the elders they have the modern technology they still use the old school just to learn and just to how to do but they still they, they're using the the ct scanners they're using the x-rays blah blah all of these things and i know right now in the mm -hmm. way and so what what is blocking the, the the architects what what's the problem in just in the mindset oh my god uh, yeah, you want you want to you go want deeper to into the architect <laughs> stuff, eh? maybe maybe you will run because uh, if the monster uh, against the architects appears uh, you will have to stop this recording no no <laughs> uh, I, i'm joking but uh, well because i have a, a special relationship with the architects domain you know uh, yeah. and uh, honestly i don't know honestly okay. honestly i don't know no 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 yeah, yeah because i i could start here trying to honestly I don't know because I, as i said i was in the site and in the site there are more people rather than just architects and even they were not you know facing this um uh um you know uh, high tech uh stuff they were eager and and easier to try new things and so on because in the end when they have to Mm, you know, to, to change the technology in, 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 in some of fa some fa facade system they are trying to uh, build and so on, they have to, to face it. And they okay. have to, 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 to use technology that it's, wow, quite more complicated uh, to, uh, uh, than using uh, some kind of uh, cut to the software. You know, mm -hmm. and, um, and 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 that's why I, I I really don't know. I think it is this kind of stuff like comfort zone, blah blah blah, and and so on. And I am quite bored even mm -hmm. to go deeper <laughs> to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I think I think I hear you. Because I, I still under I think I still think this is some of the tools which you guys are using. They are very complex in the user user experience. You know, I'm not saying that because you know I had the chance to work with the different industries. But when you look at the, again, I will go back to the CT scanner. It's a damn complex machine, okay? It's just don't, don't just as a medical part, but it's still the interface which you're using it and how you analyze it. It's just right now, it went 20 years ago to right now, not 20, 15 years ago to right now. Right now you can really use it and the doctor can just, you know, intuitively go through the screens and to the, the images to analyze it, et cetera, himself. Before he need to have some technician or somebody who, who was able just to give him this insight. So maybe this is complexity as well of all of some of the tools which you guys are using. It's just maybe we need to push it a little bit and just instead of putting the IT guys who just do not really understand the architect, just to get the architects and start to telling, I don't need this. I want to have this simple, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. I, sh I should agree with your words, but I, I, I'm... I I'm also thinking about other stuff that, for example, architects are doing, and probably mm -hmm. because they, they they don't have the the chance to uh, to complain, they just do it, and that's all. Which is <laughs> tasks for the administration, for example. Okay, got it. <laughs> you know, yes. quite complex, you know, service and, and XML embedded within some uh pdf and so on wow this is quite easy no it's not so easy uh you know and they share some spreadsheets that are quite complicated uh, but they just do it they just do it and they don't well they complain uh i i was complaining as well but <laughs> um they do it and when you come with beam or whatever you want to call it um and you you, you just tell them well uh this is similar to what you were doing you are just adding data inside a field, and this field is <laughs> related uh, with other fields, and you are mm, um, creating an outcome from what you are doing right now. And this outcome, instead of being in a spreadsheet, it's another stuff, but it's just exactly the same stuff. Even uh, uh, regardless, the bad user experience of some tools that uh, uh, they are using. And, and, uh, and I agree with you that there's a, well, depending on which software, right? But the mostly UX is, it was not quite good. 
but even even though um you know uh that's why i i i i, I am I am more uh, with the idea that it's like leaving that comfort zone. It's about uh, change, resistance, and, and and all this stuff. Honestly, honestly. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me. I add here uh, one thing that I, I discussed with uh, with Ivan Gomez in, our, in in one of our past interviews related to what you guys said about the about user interface. That the key for a technology to succeed is that it's easy to work we don't need to we don't need to understand the full ctr machine or whatever what is behind the machine does it someone already thought about it and prepared it easy for us but if we give a technology we are trying to use beam software or whatever you want to call it in a way that is already hard to understand how to manage them and then there is another step to understand how they work you need, to, you need to give it very easy. You need to give it like a straightforward, easy interface, user experience, good. And you don't need the, the technical part, all the background inside, how it works, the logic. This is for us, for the technical minds. Okay, but we don't need to spread this to people. I wanted to tell people on the on the business level, on the marketing level. Say, now you need to understand BIM because the methodology, how they connect the data like that, a, a Revit file, or whatever file, it works like this. They don't need to care about this. No? What do you think of your customers' experience, David? That, yeah. Are they really going forward on that understanding or they say, oh, look, I want this easy, just give me the, the money, just give me the benefit, the profit at the end of the semester. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, I, I will cover the architect stuff in, in, in just in the beginning and then I will uh, okay. uh, uh, jump Expanded. into other, uh, <laughs> yes. other roles as well. Because it's quite, well, it's it's quite interesting because it's a, quite an interesting subdomain uh, within this complexity, <laughs> you know. But well, for example, with the architects, I, I started my um beam consultancy journey uh with architects because well they were the ones that i, I knew the most uh, you know uh, so let's start with them but i but most of my clients are nowadays are not architects you know and well and it's not good it's not bad i mean it's what it is uh, you know um but i don't want to criticize them it, it just uh it just a particular as i said domain and uh following your question uh for me it's quite important to distinguish let's say workflows or the the, the way companies and, and people is working following some kind of processes of course this is these are the workflows and then we have the tools you know and 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 i think uh not just architects uh the focus is misleading uh, or i don't know how to use uh, to, how to say it I, I mean when you are telling them well let's start with your workflows and <clears throat> i will give you the uh, some clues uh later on how to use the tools that those workflows are requiring but this is not the natural uh arrival for them you know uh, they just have the need as many of us we did I, 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 I admit it, uh, I started using a tool, you know, but this is not true if, it, if, if I just say was the tool. No, I had workflows there. Many. I, my mind was trying to translate how I could, um, how, how I was able to, to transform uh, my, uh, my uh, uh, daily steps doing a uh, housing uh, project, for example, <laughs> using all this because uh, in the very beginning i realized that this is not just about the tool <laughs> when i was following those youtube stuff and oh my god this is not just uh tool, doing right? a save us and no no no, no. <laughs> and, and, and that's why i discovered that this is something else so well you are translating that and and, and of course I, I was doing it by myself but uh, companies are more complex than a, a super small company such uh was mine in that time you know uh, so I try to uh, help them realizing that, well, let's start analyzing what you are doing, which are the parts that you are doing that maybe you will have to change and which others maybe you don't have to even to touch. And we are not talking about the tools. You don't have to even to invest yet in any kind of new tool, which is probably expensive and so on. Let's start with that. And the thing is that I, I, I didn't find anything uh, anyone sorry uh interested uh within the architectural studios domain uh you know because they said well we already know about workflows you know what are you telling me 
uh, you know, I just want you to tell me how to use this new tool, which is the tool that I think that my neighbor is using. So yeah, that's all. And as soon as I, uh, I realize that I can use it by myself in some kind of basic manner, uh, bye bye, you know. And this is what happened. And well, it's okay. Uh, it uh, pushed my company <laughs> exploring other uh, red, um, uh, sorry, blue oceans. <laughs> okay. Now, so so, but okay. I, I hear I hear the story, and I, I'm just when when it's really inspiring me. One thing which inspires me right now, which you're saying, maybe we can we can we suppose not to start with the architect. I know, I know. This is kind of like a, you know the guy who just never Pretty did stuff, that. Huh? <laughs> but maybe we supposed to start with the with the building blocks, like the construction materials. Maybe the guys who just because if if you will just give it all of the parts in terms of the design from the manufacturers of the of the 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 the, 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 the not manufacturer the construction manufacturers so just all of the parts related to the building mm -hmm. maybe it this will be just you know transforming it but they also late okay so just they really late as well because they just not really just ne never ask them really to do this kind mm -hmm. of stuff right? so if yeah. you will start with not architect but with the manufacturers the 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 building blocks kind of i'm just thinking lego right yeah, yeah no, 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 no. it's the most part it's uh i think it's natural that everything started uh from the design stage because in the end mm -hmm. it's, it's a beginning. cycle it's mm -hmm. it's uh, well uh the building uh construction life cycle is uh it's what it is we start with the idea of someone to provide some uh um, okay. answer to human needs that's all and then someone has to uh, this design something, you know, yeah, and, no, and, and I think that it makes sense that everything starts from there. But of course, the money is not there, you know, yeah, uh, okay. the money, the money is another part of that cycle. And it, it, it seems that, well, so let's start with the people that um, uh, have the money instead of the ones that are starting that journey. Uh, but but well, uh, it's how to convince them and they say, well, no, no. Uh, uh, I need that the ones that are before me uh, convince me that this is something uh, that it's useful. Otherwise, I will not invest any cent of my uh, amount of money. And this makes sense as well. So I think that uh, uh, starting with architect uh, design, because of course engineering is also there, uh, it, it made sense. But then, and this is what I think that nowadays I... I, I I like what I what I am starting to see, at least in, in Spain and other in, in other regions. It's even uh, more um, uh, awesome, and uh, that the the guys in the middle, I mean the construction stage, which is a quite heterogeneous, uh, let's say, quite uh, different. The dif the differences between types of companies there are uh, different enough to provide um, uh, real uh, progress here. Because when you when you find a subcontract uh, 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 sub here uh, that has a very, very clear and short, uh, let's say, um, very well-defined goal, which is, well, guys, I just need, it's not easy, but I just need to provide uh, this um, facade uh, system into the site, but at the same time now I see that some architects and engineers they need something months before I am uh, delivering it uh, on the site. So I have just to um, uh, provide that. How to achieve it? You know, and they don't care about the standards, about uh, many complex stuff. They just need to to see. It. And and this is quite interesting because this is what I was expecting when I was talking with some architects, because in the end, they are also delivering stuff, you know, but I didn't see that business mindset there, uh, you know, and in the construction stage, I think the business mindset is helping, uh, you know, to make a, a, a broader progress here. And this helps because people has a, a, a more, a, a clear idea of which are their goals. They don't want to any kind of noise. Okay, don't tell me that. 
I want to do this. And, 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 and of course, they, they, they made, in my opinion, some mistakes, like, well, creating a lot of beam objects for some cloud repositories, blah, 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 and so on. They didn't know, uh, and they started to invest. With, this is a mistake, in my opinion, just my opinion. But and now they learn some of that. And I think that this is something that uh, uh, people from the design stage uh, uh, should learn. And uh, I know some of them that uh, they, they started to learn that, you know, uh, not because of BIM, because they had to transform their traditional businesses into something else, which is not just an architectural guy <laughs> making some layouts, uh, you know, uh, this is something else. And I think that this is the real, the, the actual progress. And I am quite happy to, to, to be involved with that. Yeah. Okay. So, so that, that I hear you. And, and one of the things which, you know, what we, we found out, you know, if, if you try to group it kind of like, uh, we found that the, the, when we talked to the people that there are five major big challenges in terms of the, in terms of the beam. Um, you mentioned it already, you know, education training, the people are not educated. They don't understand it. They don't understand the conceptual part, which is, I think it's important. Um, the second one, which we found was interoperability between the different software. So just the one architects and the one things they talking and then at the end, they can just not exchange the data. So that was the, the second. The third, what we what we discovered when we were just uh, talk to to with to the people, they said some of the software, some of the part related to the data, they have some limits. You know, I, you can just have the only one rendering per day, or you have one on the data access per day, or you have two, etc. So you have the big construction, you have the shadow Gal airport which you try to create, and you have the one access per day, which means like you will just finish like a, you know Berlin airport in the next twenty years, you will finish it. So. And also the one things which was which was one of the things. So the four things which we we discover is that the people are just because the data is is a key in BIM, right? And we we discovered that some of the guys saying, "Oh my God, it's too much data." As you mentioned as well, I don't need this. I don't need all of this. I just need only the small part. Just don't give me. I know that exists, but I don't want to see it. I don't want to know about it. And I think. Um, the, the fourth one, the, no, sorry, the fifth one, which we discover is also the, 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 the organization of the different manufacturing architecture groups, etc. that the guys do not talk to, to each other. We have one of the architects we're talking saying, we have the silo in the company and they just didn't talk together. We start to agree it and when it starts and it's working. Out of this five, is there anything else which you have in your mind? And just because I think no, it's no, coming I, off, but... You've described it uh, very well. These are the the key the well the key concepts uh to describe which are the challenges uh here you know um i i, I think that well um, from a technological point of view we are going through you know because in the end uh it's the tsunami it's so big that it's it's smashing you if you don't want to surf uh, the wave you know so that that that's all but but the, the, the problem here, one of the biggest blockers, let's say, in my opinion, it's the legal layer. And legal. Wow. Okay. yeah, uh, but, but, but at the regional or at the country level, you know, uh, and it's about the contracts, you know, um, in Spain, for example, uh, well, the architects uh, um, have uh, a level of responsibility by law that it's like ensuring that those silos are <laughs> stronger and stronger, you know? And uh, if, if we want to break that, we can have some kind of pilot projects, we can have some lab, uh, you know, um, mm, uh, deals there, but um, unless uh, we are not changing the legal uh, framework, we are not going uh, farther, you know, and, and this is this is this is very difficult to change. It's very difficult to change because there are a lot of interests, of course, uh, comfort zones, but it's not about comfort. It's about making money, you know, as well. <laughs> um, and uh, and what to say. So, but, yeah, uh, and we are still on on, on, on that uh, path, oh. trying to unlock those knots, you know. Uh, one question here is it um these changes can lead to any sector or, or people 
to make less money and that's why they may be reticent to, to those changes or are, ah, are, are, are they just uh, are they just thinking it's comfort zone or is this really no no if we go this way well go... they the, i i think that they know that this legal framework will will not change easily you know and what what why to change if there's one staff there that is ensuring that i will be doing what i am doing for the last <laughs> decades yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's making uh, me to earn money uh you know and honestly i am in different as probably you as well in different um discussion tables and so on and nobody dares to talk openly and transparently about this stuff because it's the big stuff to solve you know and uh and that's all but but at the same time tsunami is there so well uh maybe <laughs> The, re the 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 removal that that tsunami is uh, making uh, among us is it's it's uh, in, i don't know uh changing uh, that legal framework uh in, in in some way or another somehow i don't know i don't know but 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 uh, 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 what i see is that in each region they have a legal framework in each country they have a legal uh, 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 one uh, and there are difference differences between countries right and this is probably due to some cultural approach uh, uh on how to solve things within that complex sector and probably anglo-saxon people is facing this in a different manner than uh latin or mediterranean ones and so on this is my experience of course and and and, and, and in, in asia it's totally different of, of, at the same time and i think that this is and this is why is this sector is so complex uh, you know uh, and it's uh, that that's why it's so exciting there is, you know? there is so much more inside so that needs to be complex right and, uh... yeah yeah yeah, yeah that, that was one of the arguments of the guys who was just saying because i'm as i said on the beginning i'm looking for a money so the money is going to be on the on the on the productivity as you mentioned uh but the, you know there is also just a lot of improvements what we can do and one of the guys said you know money is already there you just that's don't worry the, the, the money is there it's just a question of you know how to make it better use of it right? exactly I, I was i was telling many architects when i was just an architect without beam <laughs> you should jam into uh another 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 stage same same industry because it's the industry you love you know yeah, but exactly. the truth is they they didn't love the industry uh they didn't love construction uh not all of them not all of them not all of them because maybe someone could get annoyed right but they what they love was uh their niche you know uh and, and well it's okay uh it's okay you started to study this because you you, you but but what you are doing it's it's part of a a a a, a bigger uh, monster and this monster is awesome is 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 beautiful uh you know and 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 uh, and if you want to earn money uh trying to feed that monster uh go to another place because in this in in this one there's money but not so much you know <laughs> so it's if it's about money which is well uh, a quite important stuff as well <laughs> you know we, we, we it, can it's, say not here. <laughs> it's not it's not in that stage uh, yeah, yeah, you, you know? can say that the monster is already the, his belly is full so <laughs> to feel them feel them more and more with that yeah yeah <laughs> he should start to yeah, do some yeah. exercise and lose the overweight he has for years <laughs> yeah oh. yeah so well but 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 uh uh uh, uh, uh certain i think that um many companies are already realized uh, uh about well if we just uh stay there the the, the sounds that tsunami is, is 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 bringing is like okay uh the, 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 this is about evolution uh, you know uh, and if we don't jump into the, that evolution uh tsunami will you know destroy us mm. but, but, but and, and and every day more and more uh companies are uh you know uh, facing that digital transformation uh otherwise well here we all of us would be depressed and and so on and it's not the case m most of the time okay we will not don't, we will not go to depression no worries no no no, no. not at all so, okay so so what what you mentioned i think this is this is good so i think i i made a mistake in my hypothesis that we can start start from the from the building blocks you i think you're right you were just saying that's the the important part is really to start with the design and the 
the need from the, the consumer, so the, from the consumer, from the people who lives in the building who will be just using it. So from the what are the purpose, then start with the design and then move into it. But I try just to link it how I, how we can help these manufacturers as well, because that will also will be the good things to do. You know, um, I know the creativity part and I understand this, but you know th there is some speed up. You know, if if we will just go on the manufacturing side, the the um, the that it's still they doing the same stuff all the time so just i think we can try just to help them to go faster as well even and that yeah. could bring the productivity as well yeah, exactly and and and, and you, you pointed it uh, uh it's about uh again processes it's about workflows it's about the how because because the, the what it, it will be the outcome of that you know um and 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 and, and if you uh Co not convinced because they the, they will get convinced by themselves when when they see it you know so you just need to help them to do some stuff simple one in another way and then they realize that if they were using uh, i don't know 15 steps to do something okay. and they are just doing uh, six and probably one of them is bigger than uh, six or seven of the former ones you know it's not a problem. It's not a problem. This means that you have to hire another guy or you have to uh, train your best guy, uh, whatever. This is change, man. Uh, you have to change something without change. Uh, yeah, anything. Really it's complex. moving. Uh, but let's change some small stuff in a quite simple way that enables you to realize that, well, now you are more efficient. And you know, if you are a businessman, that man or woman, uh, that uh, if you are more efficient, you are earning more money, uh, you know, and that's all. And this is how, in my opinion, it starts. But the difficult, the difficult stuff here is to analyze what they really need, uh, you know, in a simple way. Because if you start, and I, I, I made that mistake in the beginning, and I sometimes I, I, I tend to to make it as well, which is trying to explain them all that complexity which is behind but sometimes i am also trying to to understand that complexity yeah, of yeah. course because it's very complex you know and, and, and sometimes i have some open windows that are, are are throwing them all that complexity and then they you know man uh, you are not the guy here to help us you know because this is too complex and, and, and well it's true okay sorry i close that window and then when you close that window and but you are just having some small holes uh, providing <laughs> newware from the outside, and sorry for my comparisons, but it's like that, then they realize that, oh, it smells good. I, I like it. Uh, and then they start, uh, uh, you know, uh, pulling uh, newware from that window. And this is, the, this is when you are thriving. This is when you get some kind of small success uh, and uh, that's when you are trying to replicate it. That's when you are trying to use that experience from that client into another one, and to another one, and to another one. And this is how you try to make business. Yeah, very good, very good, very this good. Is, this is good. This is this is good stuff. Good, interesting. I can see already here potential for a big cafe with a big legal vendor part two. <laughs> I know. I you, uh, <laughs> so, 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 because it, it really, it really links uh, this thing we're talking right now with um, the the second part of the topic of the interview I have already prepared. Let me show some slides. Is a uh, something I was discussing with David in our in uh, introduction conversation. This are we ready for a change? Because uh, so many people say, oh yeah, well let's let's jump into this. Let's take that, that air which smells very good from my neighbor using the same comparison. But do you really want to do it? Because it's going to be hard, as David said, you need to invest, you need to change, you need to move things. And this is like uh, every day you have a routine of doing your stuff and you're comfortable because you, you get used to it and you're going to change it. And you're going to do things differently and you're going to have problems. And you're going to have people telling you why that you don't have the answer, the because. No? So this is really painful. Uh, but of course, you need to do it with a conviction that, okay, I believe that this is going to be for good. I believe, it's, And this is, okay, I'm ready for a change. But this is, this part you, you mentioned with David, like, Many people say the first question is you should ask to a potential client in your are you ready for this change? How, how, how do you taste if they are eager to change for real or not? <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, so I mean, uh, reluctancy, let's say, is over there. Uh, and it's, I think it's a quite safety layer that we, the humans, have 
because uh, there's a lot of uh, smoke uh, sellers there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, and, and in, in any domain, uh, you know. Uh, sorry, because this is something that we say in Spanish. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know the word. I think it's understandable. I think, I think it's understandable. Uh, so well, and, but but people is smart, and they know uh, when they see s s some fake, fake, fake stuff. Of course, you can you can go into quite. Uh, for example, this uh, um, beam object period that we had few years ago it was a like a boom everybody thought that they had to uh, create beam objects you know like um uh, tro uh troya horses i don't know how it, if it's called mm -hmm. yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. and then and then they discovered that brad pitt was not there uh you know <laughs> Uh, and then what happened? Well, for me, it's okay. Uh, I am the star now, not Brad Pitt. You know what? Well, the, the jokes apart, uh, of course, uh, so, so we, the industry, we are learning how to do this in, in different uh, levels. You know, uh, now we learned that we need those beam objects, but we learned uh, that some of them we need to mm, mm, uh, create. Uh, them by ourselves. Some of them we, we have to download them, but then we have to learn how to remove the noise from them and so on. Um, you know, so we are learning continuously. Uh, and then the more you learn, uh, the smaller is that reluctancy. You know, um, because then you 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 suddenly you you realize that you are using a similar language than uh, th those sellers <laughs> you know and then and then you can start creating new things together because you are using the same language or a similar one and this is this is awesome when you reach that level because this means that they start uh, to, to to understand uh, how to refactor some of the questions in plain language which is some of my favorite stuff uh, helping companies to refactor questions using plain language, because once you are uh, doing this, you uh, are doing the, well, let's say, the best steps towards that difficult and complex um, uh, activity of uh, exchanging information, you know? But if you start just mm, wondering, what do I need to achieve this? And then some company, oh, okay, don't, don't, don't make me, play like a kid, uh, you know, in the school. Oh, well, but let's just start uh, with that, you know? And, and, and when you are trying to do this with uh, that people that already achieved that similar language, then they realize that, oh, okay, now I see that uh, my, I have to reduce the scope, which is not bad, because I wanted to achieve this, 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 and that, because I see my neighbors already have it. Well, you don't know if they have it. They say they have it, uh, you know? So, well, reduce the scope, focus on a simple um, uh, goal, you know? And now try to start um, refactoring the same questions that your industry is doing uh, for the last uh, 20 years, the ones that your company is alive, you know? And then refactor them. And then, Okay. Nowadays, how can you provide a new solution using this new technology for the same question? And I can help you. Uh, and but that simple goal, eh? just one, just one. Maybe I want to check the materials when I am orbiting a model on the site. What a simple, um, you know, uh, goal, right? But but this is not easy to achieve uh, if you don't have a clear idea of what do you really need when you are on the site? You you are in a rush. You have a lot of noise and actual noise. Uh, you have people uh, that is looking at you, uh, and there's a lot of dirt. Uh, blah 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 blah. How to rely on a uh, iPad or whatever you have in front of you <laughs> to just click it? Because if you don't have the um, uh, you don't rely on that because you don't have your processes strong enough to to produce uh, the information um, uh, to to embed it in, in, inside that wearable. Then we always 
you always see that wearable as some kind of, mm, I don't know, toy, you know? And no, this is the real stuff, man. Uh, the, the, you just need to change how you are producing information in, in, in your office. Uh, and then you will start relying on the measurements that you are taking from that iPad. I remember when I was an architect on the side and I was uh, uh, start playing with that, I was the, 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 the guy that they don't want to see, the guy with the wearable there, uh, architect and a wearable. Oh my God, this guy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's dig some hole and let's put him inside, you know? Uh, but uh, we started to use that. Uh, it was an Android. It was not a, 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 um, uh, an iPad, but that's okay. Uh, okay, man, come here. Uh, I will I will show you if we are on the shadows because with the sun it's a problem. Uh, you know this is another stuff. Uh, 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 we will measure uh, the footings here, the, the the steps of these footings, and you will see that the, these measurements uh, match exactly with the ones that you are uh, checking here with the PDF layouts that you had from the very beginning of the construction. And then ah, but now I understand those uh, uh, jumps. Because in the very beginning, with my own layouts, and I tried to do the best, uh, you know, they didn't understand because of the 3D they understood. But they saw that it was not just about understanding the geometry; it was about relying about the information that that device was, uh, uh, you know, giving them. And then, oh, I wore, I also want an iPad. Uh, well, it's not just about that. <laughs> you need to learn how to put things inside. But crazy, but they were not architects. It was a guy who was just went to the high school and at 20 created their own company to pour concrete into the site. You know, the eager uh, 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 of this guy uh, was inspiring me, you know, uh, honestly, honestly. Uh, and I am an architect and I love architecture and so on. It's okay. Yeah. Fantastic story. Great for sharing it. I think that's that's really the good one. And I think that's really how you really need to do. So what I hear from you is not only the the educational practice, the, the only theoretical experience, but also the practical one. You need to just take it and and for the people who do not believe it, show it on the field, saying, okay, yeah, take course. a look at this is how it works. And otherwise and you are an alien, uh, are an alien coming from a far galaxy, uh, you know, and they don't believe you. Of course, I I will not I, I would not believe them. Uh, you know, I want right. some so, someone as, as as dirty as as me, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know, but that's that's Enrique's story about the clean guy on the on the construction on the side. Yeah, 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 there's a wall. There, there are there on that, you know? clean guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Good. So let's start to wrapping up this, David. We uh we uh, we, we face uh, face some you know questions about the business and so on. But I want you to ask you about the we, we talked about this uh, before a bit, but I will talk about this last point: the need versus the will. Because it's uh, it's, a, it's an interesting thing for me that if you really want, I asked myself before, I asked before, what really want to change, but coming from yourself because you want to change it, or it's just uh, no, what I want to do because other ones do it. This is the same in other interviews. So uh, you you look like you do BIM or you really do it. No, and this in talking about BIM or implementation. So what do you think about that? The, these people who just want to have this certification but without caring anything about the, th the thing that it oh, implies <laughs> uh architects and certifications you want to kill me uh, <laughs> okay uh yeah certifications are there so you you can go and take uh any kind of certification you want some of them are quite valuable mm, i should say that and some of them are just well i don't want to say to use bad words you know, uh, but you understand. So <clears throat> I think this is how depends on which are the rules of the market in which you are, are moving. Uh, uh, these um, badges or, I don't know, uh, labels or, or whatever you need uh, to demonstrate others that you uh, okay. know how to do something, j j just use it. Just use it because it's otherwise it's a nonsense if you are not using it okay but it, this is okay but I, I i'm i'm more interested about uh uh this binomial uh, need versus will you know 
And I think that we, we have covered that uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, 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 I like to see that maybe uh, you already have the will uh, to do something after um, uh, realizing because someone demonstrated you, whatever. But at the same time, you are living in a time that it, everything is changing so fast that you are you have at the same time another comfort zone living together uh, with your strong will achieving something uh, and this is for, for example is something that is happening to me right now as well you know uh, now the guys with the i am uh, i am not a coder for example of course i i i know some of the uh, coding languages but at a level which just allows me to make decisions uh in terms of a uh, from a business perspective, you know, but I am not, even I don't have the time. I had a, a baby girl this summer, impossible, impossible. I, I cannot go deeply into Python, JavaScript or whatever. I cannot, but uh, of course I need to know something, but this is for me, it's something that it's knocking at my door, uh, 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 at the door of my comfort zone house, you know, and hey, 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 but I have a strong will to go. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, okay, do I need it? or not you know but of course i i have always pain in my ass uh i am i am also going there you know but this is about your own attitude towards towards things so i think that you can never rest <laughs> you know and when you think that you have the 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 the, 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 the will enough no, no 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 because then you will realize that you need that as well uh and if you think that you don't need it well <laughs> okay you'll see uh you know uh, so mm -hmm. it's a no, uh, the never-ending story of not resting, um, and maybe one day we'll rest. But I think that uh, not mm -hmm. in this life. <laughs> okay, good. fantastic, David. Well, we're gonna start to close up and wrap up the, this interview, man. Thank you so oh, much for. I was your... enjoying. Uh... Yeah, enjoying. Yeah, I mean, from 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 my side, from my side, I'm gonna play a bit of background music also, like the professional mm -hmm. food about this. On my side, you have another golden ticket for our next video. We can discuss the next time, okay? And uh, having a, a, a big contact with meeting your life, which is a bit bigger uh, among us. And uh, I, I got something clear from this conversation that construction circles as all the industry, we are like in, in a circle, sorry, yeah, it's a circle uh, of design, construction, builders, so many ideas involved, but we need to hit again inside that circle at some point, okay? There is, everyone says, no, no, but tell to the people before me. No, there should be one before, which is the first, and we need to hit that in a circle, okay? We need to hit them to really make the impact and the change of the construction industry. Otherwise, we just keep the circle looping and looping and looping, and this, that monster we talk, we get fatter and fatter and fatter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the one of my takeaways, Anuka, sorry for just uh, cut oh. interrupting you, but I think that that's important part that uh, of all, all of the seriousness of Beam, which is very very serious and very you know oriented process. There is also the small part for having the fun. I like the Brad Pitt there. I like some of the some of the <laughs> comments. So that's, sorry, that's guys. <laughs> no, no, sorry, no, sorry. This is the stuff we want. This is the stuff we want. I mean, we want to democratize it. <laughs> It cannot be, you know, I think that really the, the people who, who are able to joke about the topics which are difficult, they're really much, 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 much known as much better because they're not afraid, right? And, and exactly. you know, that, that's really something which is, for me, it's important. We need to demystify it a little bit, Beam, and how it works because it, at the end, it's just the data and the, just the information and the drawing. Come on, guys. I'm just not so simple, okay? <laughs> but when you put together it, we can make it complex, as you mentioned. So it, it's all it's good. good co it's, it's a good cocktail, you know. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. But that's so it. Well, you, yeah, so, uh, uh, Enrique, sorry, back to you. Yeah, no, no, just uh, thank you, David. Yeah, uh, just remember everyone, we're in YouTube, the Pink Cafe, to be or not to be. We have the, all the interviews, all the weekly episodes we do live, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Please go there, subscribe, give us a comment, interact with us, and join this Pink Cafe as David did. It was a pleasure to have you here. And Peter, you want to say last words or something? Yeah, thank you very much. No, it's just don't forget, just the video, we just, we, we're still learning how to do it. Just you yeah. need to. Right. Point anywhere, not for the people yeah, to subscribe. You don't know how to really just point these <laughs> these fingers, but just you know, guys need to subscribe for the the events. We will planning some vacation, uh, mid of December. So just you know, we, we will try just to go back in the January. But I think the important part is 
uh, we will just close the season two very soon. So just more people welcome to, if you have any comments, any ideas for the season three, join us, come comment as Enrique mentioned, and let's just uh, move the beam to the 2023. <laughs> Thank you very well. much, Guy. It's been an honor and uh, I wish you uh, the best of the legs. Okay. Thank <laughs> you so much, See you soon, guys. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.